except to say more generally, I think we have all in these areas become more educated. Uh, if you think back, put it in some kind of perspective, the discussion of the subject of the appropriateness of uh, gay men and women serving as foster parents, how many years ago before you never heard of such a thing being discussed publicly? How many years ago before you never heard of gay men and women being discussed publicly except in the most adverse of contexts? We have come an extraordinarily long way. And I think when we come up against temporary reversals or setbacks or disappointments, such as, for example, the governor's decision in this case in Massachusetts, it really is important to keep that in some degree of perspective. Uh, from my own perspective, for example, and these folks can speak for themselves, I arrived in the Congress in 1973 at the age of 37 without, to my knowledge, ever having met another gay person. There is a long, long, long distance between me in 1973 and my standing here today in 1987. That's a lot for 14 years. And I think we all, I don't mean that just, just my individual situation, I think we all need to keep that in mind. And may, may I also say with respect to AIDS, you didn't ask this question, but in the immensity, or notwithstanding the immensity of the tragedy of this epidemic, insofar as one can even remotely look at a silver lining, and I say this with great hesitation because you can't talk about silver linings in the face of a tragedy of this magnitude, but if there is one, I think it is that the existence of gay men and women is no longer subject to question. Many of us grew up in a world where most people didn't know there was such a thing or chose to ignore it and never saw any reference to ourselves. Uh, that is absolutely unthinkable from this point on. Uh, I, in all of my life until very recently, never saw a newspaper or heard a television or radio report about gay people that uh, was not totally and thoroughly pejorative and negative. Now, every day, every morning, every afternoon, every evening, every citizen of this nation reads and hears about the existence of gay people. It is now an incontrovertible fact, and we can never go back from that. And that is an extraordinary step in itself.